still know better. 56% of voters in 12 states, 12 um, in critical states during this presidential election, say they and their families are still no better off than they were in 2008. This according to the latest Gallup poll released this morning. Forquist is president of Americans for Tax Reform, joining us now from Washington, D.C. To that question, why is Barack Obama, the president of the United States, still able to lead in this election cycle, given the way Americans feel about the economy? Well, if you look at the Gallup poll and the Rasmussen poll, he's, he's not leading. Uh, and while there have been some polls that suggest he's doing okay, he's polling under 50 percent. Uh, he's been behind in Rasmussen uh, and Gallup overall. This is not where the incumbent wants to be. Uh, at this point, I mean, the, the year before Reagan was reelected, four million jobs were created. Uh, during the Reagan recovery, you had not just were people not worse off, they were getting uh, significantly better off. Obama's got a situation where people don't see things getting better, haven't seen them getting better for the last year, uh, and none of his policies have changed. The policies that brought us stagnation, uh, underemployment, low employment, low job creation, when you ask Obama what he wants to do, his answer to everything is more of what I've done. Right. How and does well, that the, change things? But the, the argument made by many Democrats is that if they had been allowed to spend more money, I mean, you hear it repeatedly, education, infrastructure, uh, new sources of energy, if, you, if they had been allowed to spend even more, the economy would be in better shape. Well, except that doesn't make any sense, because remember, the Democrats had control of the House, the Senate, and the presidency, not by one or two votes, but by strong supermajorities. Uh, Obama could have passed any tax increase he wanted to, any tax cut he wanted to, any spending bill he wanted to, and he did. He spent $5 trillion that we didn't have uh, in debt. He spent $800 billion on the stimulus. This did not create jobs. What he says is, oh, if I'd spent another $400 billion on quote unquote stimulus into the five trillion dollars in deficit spending that would have made a difference it that doesn't pass the left test but a critical part of what the president did do or the president and congress was extend the tax cuts extended the bush tax cuts for two years we had a payroll tax cut i mean were yeah. those mistakes you know tax cuts were a part of the stimulus plan grover were those mistakes okay. Well, the extension of the lower marginal tax rates that Bush put in in 2001, 2003 for individuals, uh, for capital gains, for dividends, that didn't cut taxes. That just maintained the status quo. What he did that changed things was the massive new spending, and he did have some targeted tax cuts uh, for a number of uh, make believe right. energy sources. Uh, but exactly the sorts of things he complains about uh, if it was done for real energy sources. Grover, it was good to see you as always. Thank you so much, sir. We will see you soon and talk about, well, taxes and more. Grover Norquist. Good to be with you. Take care.